Hey, Insomniacs, you're watching World News Now. Sleep, it's overrated. Facebook friends, hello there. I'm Paula Ferris with the top stories on this hump day Wednesday. Mitt Romney, he came out the biggest winner on Super Tuesday. He's the apparent winner in a close Ohio primary. Romney also won five other states. Rick Santorum, meantime, won three, and Newt Gingrich was victorious in Georgia. Well, longtime Ohio Congressman Dennis Kucinich lost to fellow Representative Marcy Kaptur in a race resulting from redistricting. Rather, Kaptur now faces a high-profile battle in the general election. She faces that guy, Joe the Plumber. You remember him because he made a name for himself during the last presidential race. And the Sun put on a spectacular show overnight with the release of a powerful solar flare. Look at these beautiful images. The eruption is considered one of the strongest class affairs capable of triggering radio blackouts and radio. Now, by this afternoon, forecasters should have a better idea of how the earth will be impacted over the next few days. And finally, two Oregon police officers are being recognized for their extraordinary bravery after this fiery crash. They worked together and were able to unwedge the driver and pull him out. Now, one officer said he was so close to those flames that he feared his polyester uniform shirt would melt. The heroes brushed off any praise, saying that it was all and a day's work. And thanks to all of our heroes out there. Get more news anytime at abcnews.com. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful Wednesday. I'm Paula Ferris. This is World News Now, available anytime, anywhere you want it. Dionne Warwick, the exclusive on Good Morning America, tomorrow on ABC.